Hey, I'm Chantelle. Welcome to Maker Monday. We're here at Jasmine County Public Library, and I'm going to show you guys how to use the document scanner. A good thing about the document scanner for customers is, let's say you guys have a resume or a transcript or something, you're down to your last copy, you don't have it saved on a zip drive or anything, and you want to be able to send it out to your friends, family, uh, future employer, anything like that, you can take that one remaining paper copy come over to the document scanner and be able to digitize it and save it as a PDF so that way you can email it. So I'm just going to show you how. So over here at the document scanner, you basically are going to take all your papers, whatever it is, put it in the order that you need, and you're going to flip on face down, top down, and it'll sit, there's a ledge here, so it'll sit evenly on this ledge, then you just hit this blue button. And it's going to start scanning them, and as it's scanning them, it's doing the back paper first. And as they're coming through, you'll see it over here on this preview screen. So I didn't have to open up any programs at all. As soon as I use this scanner, it pulls the program for me. So then... Once we have all of our papers, we're just going to go right here and either click continue scanning if we had more or finish scanning. We're, gonna, we're finished, so we'll say finish scanning. And then at this point, all the images are loaded in. And now we just need to name it something. So let's name it um, documents. And then at this point, you would have your USB drive. You plug it in here, and you'll be able to save it on that on that folder. Since I'm just showing you guys, I'll temporarily save it here on um, downloads. Put it in that folder. So now I'm going to say save, and then OK. Then you could go to your email. Hit compose and just send it to whoever you need to send it to. And then right here, you're going to hit this paper clip. And we're going to go back to downloads where we had it say, of course, you guys know if you had your zip drive, you'll find that drive and find that. But then you're going to click open. And once your attachment comes through, then you'll click send. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more Maker Monday videos, check out this playlist. You can also learn more about the JCPL Creative Space at www.jesspublib.org forward slash creative space.